Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Capricorn. Hey Capricorn! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. These cards. These cards. <laughs> We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Guys, please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. We're going to go ahead and pull your individual energy. I'm going to pull it. We're going to see what's going on and then we'll go ahead and get into your read. Don't ask me what these cards are. They're something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going with the smaller ones this time. All right, let's see what's going on. Capricorn, give me your energy, please. Where are you? Do I even want to pull these first? <sighs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. Capricorn, what's going on? What's going on? I see something here, Capricorn, where you guys are leaning away from the playful side. I feel like you guys might be taking a more serious approach towards something, something about taking things more seriously. I feel like this is in efforts to gain some kind of freedom on something, be free to say what I want, say what I think. But I feel like in order for you to get into this position, there's something that you guys are probing, something that you need to know, something that you're looking forward to, into. I feel like this is a lot about learning, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to put this here. And I wanted to make them small so you guys could actually see the cards. That doesn't mean you're going to be able to see the third set of cards, but it's a little bit better, right? Let's see what else is going on with you, Capricorn. Something about playfulness gone. At the moment, I'm focused on something, gaining something, something having to do with wisdom, I feel like, for some of you guys. Something about expansion. How do I do it? I don't have time to play. Breakthrough. As you guys uh, move away from this playful energy, I think you guys get into more serious territory here. There's something here having to do with a breakthrough. I feel like this is something that you guys have been working on, probing on, trying to figure something out here. I feel like it's a revelation had. Something, a revelation, an epiphany, something. Where you gain something that's new. Some kind of new knowledge or something like that. Give me more, please. Give me more. I see something also here with the rebel. Some of you guys may have been viewed as rebels or something like that. Or maybe you felt like I had a rebel behavior, but I feel like you're coming out of this energy. I feel like for some of you guys, things that were considered rebel are <laughs> normal to you. I don't know if you guys really care too much about what other folks think. I feel like this is some sort of breakthrough. I feel like for some of you guys, this is really about identity. It's about standing your ground. It's about taking a stance on what it is you believe, what it is you want, what it is you want to do, what you need from other people. Give me more, please. Give me more. Oh, let me see that one. Flowering. I feel like you guys, I think the flowering for me, I feel like this is about watering something, right? How do I make something grow? How do I make something expand? I feel like this is kind of where you guys are stuck at the moment. I don't want to say for sure. All right, whatever that means, that could just be a separate message for you guys, whatever that means to you. We're going to go ahead and get into your read. Now, Capricorn, I'm trying to figure out which way I want to start with this. I think I'm just going to go, go the traditional way. Or oh, I could start from the bottom. I feel like there's something here with the high priestess, guys. Now, the high priestess talks about there's something hidden, secrets, mysteries, something that is not seen to you, it's not revealed. Right? Either somebody's trying to hide something from you or there's something that is directly in front of you and you just, I don't know what this means or you don't think to ask what does this mean, but you know something doesn't feel right. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about your intuition really expanding so that you start to understand because these cards are so big, I'm going to go the other way. You see? They cover everything up. So I feel like for some of you guys, this card is about you developing your intuition and not that it's not developed for some of you guys you are developing your intuition for others of you this is about you listening and following your intuition with reason of course you know I always say that right so I feel like for some of you guys you're starting to understand here the reason why the playfulness had to go is because you're on the right path you finally figured out that this might be the start of something like it's the start of my journey that's going to take me to where I need to be. It's kind of like that energy. But I feel like for some of you guys, this is about books. This is about learning. This is you getting some kind of information, something that makes you grow. The cards are saying that you are led to be in certain places with certain people or something like that. And the cards also say that there's some sort of reveal that comes from this. All right. There's some something about your needs here that you need to work on. Something about needs. I don't know if these are your needs. Maybe you're acknowledging that you have certain needs because I feel like you guys are trying to develop spiritually. I also feel like creatively also. 
Now the next card here I have is Nine of Cups for you guys. I'm showing that this is really about a dream coming true. So a lot of this could be you guys trying to manifest something. I finally made a decision on something that I want to do. I finally made a decision on where I want to be, what is the right path for me. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is a dream come true. Now for some of you guys, you really are going to have a dream realized. But for some of you guys, you're going to discover what your actual dream is. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this. A lot of you guys are going to start to live your life right now. The life that you always dreamed of. So some of you guys always wanted to be free. You know, I hate this, right? It really annoys me. Some of you guys wanted to be free from something. Free to express yourself the way you wanted to. Whatever this means to you. I feel like you guys have the opportunity to do that. I feel like with this card here, the Nine of Cups, there's also good news coming in for you guys. I feel like it might have to do with your friendships and also your relationships. Um, I feel like there's something here also where you guys are going to have a nice balance when it comes to health and also your finances here with the Nine of Cups. We do have the Queen of Wands. It is reversed. Now, this is where it gets a little sticky because I feel like you guys may have been in some kind of a situation where you're now finally taking your stance. And I see that there's something good that comes out of it. But the new wisdom with the High Priestess here could be the way you decide to handle this person in your life, right? So as we see, there are dreams coming true. Whenever there's a dream coming true, that tells me that there was some desire before that, something that you wanted, something that you felt like you needed, I want to accomplish this or whatever. But I do see something here with the Queen of Wands reverse, something about unreliability. I personally don't think this is your energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you might think this is a person standing in your way of doing what it is that you want to do. Oof, that was a lot. And I don't have water, really? Okay, so let's get into this, right? Uh, someone here is unreliable. And somebody here, I feel, I feel like you keep telling them, Capricorn, there's some room that I need you to make. Like, I need, I need you to help me um, take some of the things off my plate. I need you to help me take some things off my plate. I, I need you to do some things. I need you to step up a little bit more. I need you to help me. Because I feel like some of you guys have requested help here. And although you want to believe that this person is going to be able to help you, this person is still unreliable. As a matter of fact, I feel like this person might be proven. And one of those uh, proven unreliable folks, one of them people, right? They always say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I promise. And it, and it almost feels like it when it gets down to the nitty gritty, you know, like when the crap hits the fan, that's when they decide to, but uh, I promise I'll do better, da-da-da, da-da-da, right? So I feel like for some of you guys, you might constantly be let down by this person. Whatever this has to do with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for some of you guys are Pisces. Uh, some of you guys, this is all water energy. Well, Pisces is water, but it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, for some of you guys also here, I see Taurus coming into play with this energy as well. All right? Whatever this means to you. But I feel like this person here is a constant letdown. They constantly let you down. And I feel like the bottom line with this person is they make promises and they don't keep them. So that might be something that you guys are trying to work around as well. I don't know if this rebellious energy is you rebelling against this person and saying, you know what, I'm not going to step up either. If you're not going to do it, I ain't going to do it. I'm tired of you saying that you're going to help out when you don't. So I feel like you guys already know what to expect from this person. This person is a constant letdown. I now, I don't know, this last energy here, I feel like for some of you guys, this could be a partner or whatever. Oops, did the light go out? It sure did. Hold on, guys. I did that. Uh oh, I gotta cut it all the way back on. Yeah, okay, we're back in business. Okay. So I feel like for some of you guys, when we go into description in terms of who could this person be, now this could be your energy. Some of you guys could have um, be married to this person. Some of you guys could just, you know, be together with this person or whatever. Some of you guys could have children with this person. This talks about somebody giving you a hard time or not keeping promises who's a mother figure or something like that. Some of you guys, this could be a wife or a husband. The cards also say that this, this type of energy that's coming in could be from somebody who's pregnant. So they really can't help you probably the way you were expecting. I don't know what you were thinking. I mean, this person's pregnant. I'm just saying. But for some of you, the Empress card could signal that you guys are having a, a balanced, healthy relationship with a mother figure or a mother. Whatever that has to do with. I feel like these are all individual separate messages, but whatever they mean to you. All right, let's see what other cards we have here. I don't want to pull those. I really don't want to pull these, but I will. I'm still trying to find a replacement deck, but I guess it's really hard. <laughs> all right. Show me love for Capricorn. What's going on with love for Capricorn? Maybe this love spread will give us a little bit more insight on what could be going on. Let's just move that over a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Now, you know what I am going to do, guys? I don't know, right? Old school. I got the beat up. Remember that? <laughs> I love it. Some things never change. I'm sorry. I love what I love. I love old beat up materials. They feel good. Right? Where my baby? He's screaming. There you go. Show me love for Capricorn, please. Show me love for Capricorn. Show me love for Capricorn. I can hear him, but I'm not opening the door. He's just being a brat. Show me Capricorn, please. Show me Capricorn in love. Show me Capricorn in love. I'm showing something here. Children. Mm -hmm. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, some of you guys, like I said, could be uh, looking to expand a family or thinking, do I really want to expand a family with somebody who's not helping out anyway? This is a mother figure. Give me more, or children could be affecting your relationship, whatever that's about. Give me more. Help me understand what's going on with the Empress energy, just because it's over there. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Some of you guys are deciding whether or not you want to go on and develop a relationship with somebody who uh, already has children or whatever. This could be the one. You guys could be thinking about this person. I feel like you guys need to be convinced. I feel like there are some conditions behind this that you guys are still thinking about separation. Do you guys want to get back together? Some of you guys could be in separation. Can you please stop doing that? Okay. Okay. Now you're here. Everybody hears you screaming. I mean, you're not doing... No. Okay. Give me one more, please. Something about you guys being in separation. I feel like for some of you guys... This could be the one. Sep wait, hold on. Children, this could be the one separation. Some of you guys might be separated from somebody and thinking about somebody else. Stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like there's just a lot of indecision when it comes to love here. I feel like some of you guys are busy developing some things, which is why the playfulness and the romance and all that stuff. I don't know if that's going to reign supreme right now for you. But I do see that there's something here about friendships and starting to live your life. I feel like some of you guys may have been bogged down a little bit, right? And I feel like for some of you guys, it has been your dream to incorporate friends or friendships or something like that where you want to spend a little bit more time with friends. But I also feel like this is a good time uh, for you to hang out with them because I feel like there might be some issues with the love life. I feel like some of you guys could be in separation. I feel like some of you guys just need some time to bond with other people other than your partners here. I feel like there might be a borderline aggravated situation. I hate to say it like that, but that's what I see. We're going to pull a couple of these. Do I really want to pull these? Yeah, I'll pull like two of these. I don't really want to pull a lot of these. But... Well, you know what? Because I don't think I pulled them on your last read. I think that was a shorter one. So let's just, I can't remember. So let's just do it. Tell me what Capricorn needs to know. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Don't give so much advice. It causes hard feelings. You have or will receive unexpected pleasure. Whatever that means. You are going on a long, safe journey. That could be where you find your pleasure. Don't trust too many people. Don't tell too many people your business. Whatever that's about. All right, give me some more, please. Give me some more. Give me some more. You should use your own brains more. Whatever that's about. Be careful in your business dealings for the next few weeks. You guys need to be really careful in business, especially if you're investors waiting for some kind of return or something, something like that. You help others unexpectedly. Sometimes you guys just say things that draw people to you. All right. You have some information maybe and it, it draws people. Keep up your courage a little longer. Better things in sight for you. So some of you guys, I don't know if you're losing courage, losing faith, don't lose it. Things are going to come. You're going to see some kind of rewards for that. All right. Uh, I'm going to put this here. Give me one more. Why not? Give me one more. Okay. I'm not sure which one I want to take there because of the way they fell. Give me one more. All right. We'll take this one. You need self-confidence. Otherwise, you will lose. Money is left to you by someone passing away. Beware of a jealous woman. Very good luck in store for you. To me, this card speaks a little bit of encouragement. You have somebody out there, maybe that's like, I don't know, shady towards you, going to treat you bad or some intentions, whoever, whatever. At the end of the day, you ignore that person and get around them and you'll be fine. All right. That's, that's temporary. I ain't worried about whatever that is. One more. You have a mind of your own. Use it. Why do these cards keep referencing? If I'm not mistaken, hold on. 
Use your own brain, it said. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys, I, I can't imagine you guys repeating what others use. Whatever, using your own brain is like following your own intuition with the high priestess here. So I'm feeling that you guys need to do that a little bit more. Sometimes it's not about what other people say. Sometimes you have to probe, which is books, high priestess, and find out things for yourself. I'm getting that energy here. Carry through your intentions and you will be happy. So whatever you guys are trying to do here with the playfulness, which is why you turn that around and you're like, I'm going to be serious now. I feel like this is all connected. Do not let talk or jealous persons bother you. People are going to say things about you. Let it go. That's because they see you about to, I don't know, rise or something. You know how they say. Anyway. Is there anything else I want to pull for you guys? No, I think that's it. This was just a quick read. I feel like these were individual messages, but I do feel the message for you guys is um, there's something where you guys have decisions that need to be made. But before you get into all this other stuff, before I feel like some of you guys are separated. So this might be about developing yourselves and what you want to be at the next phase of a relationship or your next relationship or your position in yourself to deal with somebody better who is difficult could be um, a pregnant person. Um, I don't know, whoever, whoever's pregnant, whoever's expecting, whatever, or you could be connected to this person because you have children with them. This could be a traditional husband, wife couple here also. So any umbrella, any umbrella, I feel like this is a scenario. Uh, is there anything else? I think that might be it. How come I feel like I'm missing something? I do want to see something actually. Hold on. This, this person, this person who likes to tell a lot of lies. Let me see something. If this doesn't make any sense, I'll go in and pull, oops, pull the black cards. Hold on. What's this person lying about? Hold on. No, I always keep the... This is Jamie Way Lenormand. I can't say I'm great at these, but no, I'm not. <laughs> Let's see what comes up. All right, this person, what are they being shady about? This person who is lying and carrying on, what are they lying for? What is, what's the big deal? What are they doing? Let's take a look. It's tempting to believe this person. I believe this person said they were going to help you uh, take some of the, 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 you know, the burdens off your plate. I don't know. If, and to me, it looks like you don't know if you want to build with this person either. Um, let's see. This is about a house. Hmm. Let's take a look. Someone is not telling the truth about something. About a house. Unreliability. Constant letdown. <laughs> Something about foundations here. I feel like for something, this something with this person manifested something. I don't think you guys are on the same page in terms of what you want, how you want your house to be built, things like that. Something about a book. There might be a difference in understanding too. The book did come out reversed for some of you guys. This is about partnership. Some of you guys might have some questions there. It might uh, have some differences in terms of, you know, how do I feed my mind? Something like that. I also see something about harmony, healing. Some of you guys are hoping that this is going to turn out better. I feel like for some of you guys, this might be about a house, but it might be manifesting what it is you want. I feel like your person, you ever heard that saying, not being equally yoked? I feel like it might be something like that, right? Or if this is an existing relationship, which I believe it is or could be, um, I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know, it could be growing pains where, you know, we started here and now I'm here and you're not quite there and I don't know if you're going to get there. A lot of indecisiveness. Give me more, please. But it also shows me something about completions. Uh, huh. All right. I also see here again, I'm deciding whether or not I want to water this relationship. This does come up. Remember, it came up here, watering. And again, it says garden. So this is about growing something. This is about partnership. I do see a hiccup here, though. Give me one more. Mastery action. Somebody's not going to take action key. Oh, oh, this is growth. Are we going to be able to grow together? I see something about, I feel like you guys are looking for harmony and deciding whether or not you're going to be able to grow with this person who it looks like early on or mid somewhere, somewhere in this relationship, you start to see the light and the light is they ain't helping you. Now, if, if this is conditional, if this is somebody who is pregnant and they just can't, that's certainly understandable. <laughs> But if they were like that before they got pregnant, uh, I mean, hey, good luck. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what this is about. I was just pulling cards. Is there anything else? I take that story, take it how it resonates. Let me pull some of these for you too. Let's just call it a, because I remember I did yours and I remember it was like really short. I don't know. Whatever. I just don't remember it being long. So I want to make sure you guys get all your cards. Okay. 
What else does Capricorn need to know? I'm gonna pull these. What else does Capricorn need to know? What else does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. All right, I feel like you guys might be stuck, but I feel like you guys are also pondering, how do I move on from something? How do I deal with this situation? What is my way around or out? <laughs> Whatever that means. I feel like you guys are speaking to people who have wisdom, and that would signal probably why the high priestess could be there. Possibly. Give me one more, please, for Capricorn. What else do they need to know? Commitment. This card did come out reversed. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. You guys are like, I don't know if that's going to make me feel better. I feel like you guys, a lot of you guys are focused on whatever this is with learning something. Now, this could have to do with you mastering something. Um, it could have to do with you maybe mastering your craft in terms of work. So you guys could be, I don't know, but it's just also something about being reliable too. So that did come out reverse. I feel like you guys are deciding what you want to commit to. I think that's why it came out reverse. I feel like the decisions are delayed. Give me more, please. Travel. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Hmm. Some of you guys could be traveling somewhere. Some of you guys can meet somebody while you're out traveling, whatever this means. I'm going to pull just one more. I just feel like these are all separate messages. <sighs> Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Whatever that means to you. With these cards, whatever came up in your head first, and within reason, of course, that's what you need to act on. So if the tough and trying time signals something that you need to get prepared for, such as food, water, whatever, right? Travel, pack your bags, wisdom. Don't listen to people who don't know what they're talking about. People who are questionable. Da da da, da da da. This, to me, this is just a bunch of separate messages. But I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much. I'm trying to use all the cards that I don't really use. Give me one second. I have another deck that I want to use. Even though they these deck, they annoy me, but I still like them. I don't know where they went. Well, let's see. I don't know where these cards are. I'm looking, guys. You know me. I'll clean them and pack them away. Now I don't know where they are. So let me just pull some of the other ones here. I'll pull one of these. For one of these. Oh, you know what I could do? I ain't pulled these in a while. Let me pull these. All right, y'all. Let's see. Just one more from this person who's unreliable. If this is love, let's see what this is about. I'm gonna use in the shadows these. These in the shadows. That, I'm glad y'all didn't see that. You know, like, girl, what was that? <laughs> All right. Tell me from this person who can't be relied upon, if this is love. Only in the instance of love, please. Or whatever. What's going on? I never want to feel that way again. Whatever that's about. Only you know what this is about. I don't really know you. <clears throat> well. I wondered how far this would go. <laughs> oh, boy. So easy to see through. I don't know. I get shady energy from this person. This person is like slick, shady. And this card came up reverse. I never want to feel this way again. I feel like that's manipulative energy. I don't really know you. I don't know. But some of you guys, it could be as simple as you got caught.